Central Florida is famous for its epic roller coasters. Rides like Cumba, Shikra, Manta, and Mako. But if you want to ride those, it's gonna cost you $2. This is Stu for Out On Back Travel, and I help you plan your roller coaster adventures. Coming up in this episode, let's store all our loose articles inside the C's faffy locker policy, just so we can enjoy those awesome rides. If you're heading to SeaWorld Orlando or Busch Gardens Tampa to ride their epic roller coasters, the parks have a loose article policy that you should be aware of, and unfortunately just like most aspects when planning a Florida vacation, it requires a night class because it's a little bit complicated. It can also catch people out and be quite costly. Understandably, for safety, you can't take any bags, drinks, cups, or loose articles into the queue lines for the major attractions. There will be team members positioned at the entrance, instructing you to go to a locker. The lockers aren't free, and you have two payment options. You can pay as you go, which is $2 per session, or you can pay a one-off fee to have access to a locker system all day. As of early 2022, we were charged $8 at Busch Gardens Tampa, SeaWorld was advertised at $10, but they only charged $8, so I'm expecting this one to go up. Whether you opt for a single or a multi-day locker pass, each session is only valid for two hours and then you'll be charged for going over that time period. I'm not sure if the park officially adjusts this when the queue times are longer, but from my experience, after waiting over two hours at Busch Gardens Tampa, the locker opened with no additional charge, but I'd always check this with the team members on hand. So how does it work? To open a locker you have to go to one of the touchscreen kiosks located inside the locker stations. The touchscreen will give you four options. The first option is to rent a single use locker for this location only and that's your pay as you go option. I wouldn't recommend this to get the best value out of your day and it can be a little disheartening to have to pony up $2 every time you want to go on another ride, which can somewhat distract from the magic and enchantment of the day. But the second option is to rent a multi-use locker that can be moved to other rides. For this option, you will need to set up a seven digit user code and a four digit password. It will ask you to enter the four digit password twice. Each time the screen will move and reorder for security, which is not annoying in the slightest. To open the all day locker at a new location, you need to select the third option, move my multi-use locker to this ride location. You enter your details and a locker will open. It will also print a receipt informing you which number your locker is, which is quite handy with how many numbers you have to remember at this point. At the end of your session, to open your locker, you need to enter your four digit security code into the number pad at the side of the physical locker. As you're getting your belongings out of the locker, you have to hold down the end session button underneath the number pad. This confirms to the system that you have finished with this particular locker and you're ready to move on. It then frees up a locker so somebody else can put their belongings inside it and ensures you don't get charged for exceeding the two hour session limit. So that's how the locker system works in the Seas Parks in Orlando. I've also experienced the same system at Busch Gardens Williamsburg in Virginia. It is a little complicated, but after a few goes it becomes easier to get your head around how it works. It also means you can safely enjoy roller coasters like Mako, which in my opinion is worth any amount of faff required. Are you planning on visiting Busch Gardens or SeaWorld? If you do have any questions or need any advice, please let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe on the way out and back.